In this example, we're asked to compute this definite integral, so from negative 1 half to 1 half of 1 over square root 1 minus x squared. And really, this is a very short problem if you remember that 1 over square root 1 minus x squared is the derivative of the inverse sine function. There's one more small thing that I want to add, and it's just a symmetry issue. I can tell this is an even function in here because if I replace x with negative x, I get back exactly the same function. So that's the definition of an even function. f of negative x is equal to f of x. When I have an even function integrated on an interval symmetric about the origin, which is the case I have here, then I can cut the integration interval in half and just double the result. And the reason why is this function has symmetry about the y-axis. So I'm just going to pop in a picture really quick of what this function looks like just to, to justify what I'm doing. Okay, so there's a graph of the function that we're integrating over the interval that we're integrating it on. And I can tell by symmetry here, all I have to do is half the integral and double the result. Now that's really just a slight advantage because it gives us an extra zero in the calculation and zeros are always nice. At this point then, I just recognize that one over square root one minus x squared is the derivative of the inverse sine function. So I'm gonna write down this is equal to two inverse sine of x evaluated from zero to one half. And then I plug in, what's the inverse sine of one half? That says the angle whose sine is one half. And if I think about the unit circle, the angle whose sine is one half is pi over six minus the angle whose sine is zero. Well, that's zero. So I can cancel a factor of two and I get pi over three. If you find the math content on Zach's Lab helpful, click on the Zach's Lab logo on the right to browse playlists and subscribe to the channel. I produce dozens of new videos per month and subscribing is the easiest way to find new content. Thanks for watching.